the way there. The hobby that we just picked up from the, the people who found it at Chadwick Lakes, unfortunately, has just died. When we found it, it was obvious that the injuries were very serious. It looked as though it had been there for some time. We will still take it to a vet who will perform a post-mortem examination to try and ascertain the cause of death. A vet's examination revealed lead in the bird's body. Hobbies are agile hunters preying on insects, small birds and bats. Catching the perpetrators of this crime is impossible. And even when the evidence is fresh, it is more than difficult. Raptor Camp volunteers go out in small teams of three to five. They may have two cameras. Yet on a good day, the birds are everywhere. That one. Despite the obvious nature of the crimes, it is difficult to gather the evidence. Oh! The 23rd of September 2012, we're at Santa Catarina and we've just seen Any a buzzard being shot down. The criminals in this case were never found. Neither was the body of the bird. A bird which survives being shot is unusual. That it escapes the attention of the hunter is improbable and the chances of it being found and handed to BirdLife Malta are slim. But there are some extremely lucky ones. Covered by a member of the public in Master Scala. It's juvenile, it's quite small in comparison to the adults. So it has a shotgun injury to the wing, um, but the fracture is quite far out on the wing tip, so it can hold up the wing itself. And fortunately, we've got a couple of the BirdLife Malta reserves where we can release it and see how it goes. It will have access to food, so even if it doesn't regain flight, we're, we're giving it a chance. It had um, soft tissue damage and bruising to the body just next to the shoulder, um, but an x-ray was done and the joint and the bone there is intact. It should be able to function and find food, find food with that injury. It probably won't be able to leave the reserve, but there are night herons found here, so mm. it's nice to, to give it a chance.